did you draw on specific Queen songs as inspiration? Well, I, I guess I sort of defaulted to the Somebody Love, that 6-8, for no other reason than that's just sort of in my Queen fandom wheelhouse. Yeah. You know, that, that mid-70s, Day of the Races, Night of the Opera, mm -hmm. is when I was uh, uh, a huge Queen fan. And it's still, that's, I think, a lot of people's favorite yeah. era of the yeah. mid-70s. Um, uh, and, you know, obviously I knew I wanted it to be a Freddie song and not, you know, a, a Roger Taylor song. <laughs> that would have been weird. That would have been a weird there. choice, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they all wrote songs, but, uh, yeah, I think Freddie <laughs> was the right instinct for me to go. Um, and... I don't know. That's and I wanted a little. There's a little bit of Bohemian Rhapsody in there with uh, towards, you know, it ends with a gong and it ends with the very end of the song. Sort of is a nod to the end of the very end of Bohemian Rhapsody. But uh, yeah, uh, it was kind of a daunting prospect at first. Oh know? sure. I uh, I'm often asked to do you know to write in a certain genre. Like, you know, give us an 80s metal song or do a, um, you know, a big band thing or whatever. But to do a band, a specific uh, sound alike of a band is pretty unusual. And Queen being Queen, you know, with all their production and uh, the big vocals. And I mean, it's a pretty iconic sound. I was, I was pretty nervous when uh, they were talking about it when they first introduced the idea to me. Well, they're all such virtuoso musicians, too. And yeah. Like that's got to be like... Yeah, challenge. luckily, you know, I took a breath and I realized, like, okay, it's a minute and a half comedy song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have to do, you know, side two of A Day at the Races or whatever. I, I don't have to do Bowman and Rhapsody. I can just have little nods. And, um, I also don't have to invent the sound like they did. I right. can I can replicate what they, you know, took years to, to, to <laughs> perfect. Right. I can just mimic that. So in some ways, I guess it's easier. You know, there's a template to to go with. Right, right. There's no like maybe this song needs horns. Like, there's none of that. Yeah. Um, right, and you're given the subject matter. Were you given lyrics or some sketches? On no, the they they gave me the title totally gay, and. Uh, you know, they're pretty clear about, uh, you know, it starts with Freddie and then Andrew makes the turn. He's mm -hmm. persuaded. Um, and then he takes over. But the lyrics, I just, once I get a clear idea, I'm allowed to run with them. I, yeah. It's uh, a point of pride for me that I, uh, I don't think many uh, show composers get to do. They're usually handed lyrics by the writing, writer's room. Yeah. Find your new identity in the LGBT community. 